Hello, hello students. Um, today we are learning about ratios and rates. This is the title of our new module. So this is the first introduction that you will get to ratios and rates. So to begin, let's define ratios. Oh, I almost forgot. Before we get started, go ahead and grab a piece of paper and a pencil. You're going to take notes. I want you to be taking notes through this whole video. It's not too many, so it shouldn't be too hard. Okay, so you can go ahead and pause the video if you need to. Go get a piece of paper and then come back. Okay, so ratios. What is a ratio? Well, a ratio is a comparison of two quantities by division. So a comparison of two quantities, like two different things. So this would be like apples and oranges, or cats and dogs, or flour and sugar, right? Two different quantities, and we're going to compare them using division. An example of this <clears throat> would be for every one cup of flour, you need two cups of sugar. So if there's a recipe that calls for one cup of flour and two cups of sugar, it doesn't matter how many times you're going to make the recipe, there's always going to be this comparison of one cup of flour to two cups of sugar. So this is an example of a ratio. Okay, now a ratio, there's a couple different things, uh, ways that we can write a ratio. We can write a ratio three different ways. Now the first way of writing a ratio is like this, using a colon. And so uh, it's just written one colon two. So one cup of flour to two cups of sugar. The second way is just writing it out one, the word two, and then two. So like one cup of flour to two cups of sugar. This is the least common way that people write ratios, um, but it is uh, definitely recognizable and um, you are more than welcome to use this way. Now the most common form of a ratio is this third way of using it as um, a fraction. So the top, right, one cup of flour to two cups of sugar. Um, this is my per uh, personal favorite way of writing a ratio just because putting it into a fraction like this makes it a lot easier to use it in mathematical problems. And so it's just a lot easier for me to visualize it like this and write it like this. Um, but all three of these work. Okay, so uh, you can compare ratios a few different ways. Um, specifically, um, the two main ways that we can compare ratios um, in a situation. Now the first way is part to part. So um, like this example of the recipe that we have one cup of flour and two cups of sugar, right? Those two things are both parts of the full recipe. And so when we compare a ratio of a part to a part, it would be like, right, one cup of flour to two cups of sugar. Now, another way that we can compare ratios is part to total. And so we have a part and then we compare that to like the whole total, everything added up together. So this would be like one cup of flour comparing it to three cups of flour and sugar together, okay? Okay, so we have this part to part and part to total. So let's kind of um, uh, organize this using a different example. So our next example is in the bag, there are four red marbles and six blue marbles. So if we were to say we wanna find some ratios and this is what the ratios look like, right? We have red to blue, blue to red, blue to total, and red to total. So for this, we're going to write these out using numbers in our ratios. So red to blue would be, right, four to six, because there are four red marbles and six blue marbles. This would be an example of a part to part, because we are comparing two parts of the whole. If it's blue to red, right, it would be six to four because there are six blue marbles and four red marbles, okay? And this shows that, right, the order matters. Whatever they ask for first, you have to make sure that you write that first, okay? Because if it asked red to blue, but you put six to four, that would be incorrect. Okay, now we're going to compare blue to total. And our blue to, to total, right, would be 6 because there's 6 blue marbles. And then 10 because 4 plus 6 is 10, right? And then the last one is we're going to compare red to total. And that would be 4 to 10 because there are 4 red marbles and 10 total marbles in the bag. So the main point here, right, is we have to remember that order matters, right? If it's red to blue or blue to red those are going to be different ratios, okay? So go ahead and finish those notes and move on to the next lesson.